Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a general reading. Random messages for whoever's meant to watch this. Please like and subscribe. The first three cards that I had drawn for you or I'm going to draw are the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups. I feel like someone is your friend or is in a group setting and they're very attracted to you. With this particular card here, I feel like your angels and guides are guiding this person towards you. This could be a work dynamic. Um, but this person is seeing you in a different light. I feel like they want to be with you. They want to connect with you. They can't stop thinking about you. With the Three of Pentacles, this could be someone that you met at work. I'm getting this person is also spiritual, gifted, or you are, and they are. I feel like both of you are, because I feel like this is like um, like a higher power, and then this is you, and yeah, this is your other person, because there's two people here. I feel like both of you guys are gifted, and the universe is bringing you together. Yeah, I'm getting like soul family here with the Ten of Cups. And with the tower, you guys, something shocking is going to happen. This person is finally going to come towards you. They can't stop thinking about you. I'm also getting, um, I'm getting the energy of sex magic. Because I'm getting this also as like, um, the male. Let me show you. Like the male phallic. And this masculine thinking about you. And is manifesting you on this full moon in Taurus without even realizing it. So yes, this is a form of sex magic. However, wow, the sun and the moon, you guys, look at this. There's going to be a strong connection between you and your divine counterpart. This is meant to happen. And it's going to bring both of you lots of stability. It's very beautiful healing energy. Because you guys are both thinking about each other. You're manifesting each other without even realizing it. Yeah, this person's going to reach out. Very lighthearted energy at first. Just like a simple, like, hey, do you want to hang out? You want to get some coffee? You want to go do this? You want to go to a movie? Like, someone's going to invite you. And this person may live at a distance, but will have to travel. I'm also getting you or this person has overcame a lot of obstacles and challenges. That's why the universe is bringing you guys together. Because you're both very strong. You, This is like a power couple. You've both gone through a spiritual transformation. Two, two, two over some imbalance that someone tried to cause in the past. But with the Queen of Cups here and this card, I feel like your angels and guides are guiding you and this person together. The way that card is naturally flipped out, this is good karma. I'm also getting a mother figure approves of you, guy or girl, with the star card. This is a wish being granted. It's like, finally, the scales are balanced. Finally, you get the blessing that you seek. Finally, you have stability with the Queen of Pentacles. And the full moon, there's a new beginning of stability. Someone sees you as wifey material or husband material, take what resonates. You have stability here with somebody who's very attracted to you. With the eight of swords, someone could have been trying to do a binding spell to hold you or this person back in secret. <clears throat> yeah, with the hermit and the high priestess, this could be a Virgo that you're dealing with because someone didn't want to let you go or didn't want to let them go in the past someone knew that this masculine is coming into union with a new person Taurus Virgo Capricorn because they are heavily attracted to you guys are supposed to be together 333 angel number whoever this third party interference is um that was very cold hearted that's trying to interfere I feel like they can't speak negatively they can't stop the communication between both of you guys because the time is now three days three weeks I'm getting this is a strong spiritual connection and whoever this third party situation was that was trying to interfere to cause conflict and obstacles to keep this person away from you through spell work, it's to cause a delay in this union. It's not going to happen because this is your divine counterpart here. This person who tried to cause conflict, they're having a hollow victory. They will not be successful because you and your person are both watching and daydreaming about each other. You guys could be dreaming about each other and this union is meant to be. You're going to be with this person. Yeah, with the Cancer Chariot card. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. With the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. There's an ending of stuck energy. There's an ending of a karmic cycle. There's an ending of sadness. There's an ending of the past. There's an ending of feeling left out in the cold. Because you were meant to be in union with someone. And whoever was trying to block this union will not be successful because you're single, they're single, you're abundant, they're abundant, and your true love is finally here. So someone could have been trying to send you a psychic attack to keep you from speaking to this person, but the universe is sending this negative energy away from you. 
work with red because I feel like your root chakra is healing. I'm also getting this person is finally walking away from a third party situation or this ex is finally blocked and left out in the cold. No more conflict because you and your person are coming into union. As I say that the Knight of Swords and the Lovers, you guys are meant to be together and no one and nothing is going to block this union. So expect communication from your person. They can't stop thinking about you. This is a strong soul tie that I'm seeing between you and this person. If someone was causing conflict, I feel like you're moving away from that. They're moving away from that. And you guys are coming together to love each other. It's only a matter of time. The path has been made clear. This person is getting messages, intuitive downloads about you. And so are you. I'm also getting there is an ending of any type of lies cheating and sneaking that's coming to an end if this person was dealing with the wrong type of person they're finally putting an end to that and they're coming towards you and they will be communicating with you in the very near future within a month i do see someone reaching out here um to take you out it will be an equal give and take no more imbalance this is going to be someone who will give you stability because they see you as someone who can support themselves who's independent who's beautiful who's sexy they like that and they want to give you stability and this person likes that you let them be in control it's like you're independent and you're confident and they can give you um the good energy that you want to receive it's like equal give and take the ace of wands and the temperance card if you have lit a candle and requested the energy of love to come towards you the answer is yes your person is near energetically you guys are already together i heard borderless so there is no conflict or obstacles you will have a connection if you are single and there could be someone who is upset that this is happening, but it doesn't matter because the universe is guiding you and your person to come together. So that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings and thanks for watching. Bye guys.